No faking. To the point to what? Like a pound of bacon, burning them. If you ain't quick and nimble. I go crazy when I hear a cymbal and Vanilla ice. Hat with a souped up tempo. I'm on a roll. It's time to go solo. Get out of here. It's time to go I solo. No, you're not going <laughs> solo. If you're not going solo, it's me. Hey guys. Today we're doing a fun tag. Yeah. And it, we were tagged by Leanne Says, whom we love. Who we who love. We love. I'm not sure it's whom or who, yeah. but we, we love, love her. her. Thank you for tagging us. If you don't know her, what the heck are you doing with your life? Link below. Go check her out. She's awesome. Tell her we sent you. So give this video a thumbs up if you love affordable makeup as much as we do. If you're new, welcome. I'm Tracy. I'm Stephanie. We're sisters. We like making YouTube videos about makeup and fashion and fun stuff. We also have TNS mm -hmm. where we do vlogs. Links down below. And you should subscribe because we do giveaways where you can win things. Yes, we'll have all the information down below on the giveaways. And also, you just want to be notified of our videos. Who is excited? These girls to put makeup on their face. Me, because the zit is not doing it for me. Let's pull our hairs back. Oh, let's do that. I do kind of want bangs. Oh my gosh, go down and tell Stephanie if she should get bangs, and then tell her about the nightmare that is growing out bangs. I know what it is. I had bangs all of my childhood. Yeah. And don't you remember I wanted to cut them off because I hated them so bad? I think every kid wanted to cut off their bangs because they hated them so bad. Why did our parents do that? You asked for them. We all asked no, for them. No, I didn't. Whatever. Mom did them to me because she did them to y'all. Whatever. I, I think parents secretly want it because it keeps the hair kind of out of their face. All right, let's do this. I am going to start. What am I going to start with? Is our camera crooked or is my face crooked? We're going to prime our faces. This is the Maybelline Master Prime Primer Blur and illuminate. Ooh, I think we used this in, no, we didn't use the illuminate one. I we used... do. Here, take some of that. That's a lot. Don't make it go under my fingernail. Oh, Look, sorry. the struggle of long nails and getting product I under know. it. I can't stand my nails for that reason. All right, we're primed, illuminated, I'm blurred, it. and Stephanie always goes for foundation next. I like to pre-conceal. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is the Brightener Illuminateur. Illuminati? Nope. I'm gonna go foundation, cover girl, ready, set, gorgeous. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Normally I use my first aid beauty. It's like a kind of a brightener. It's like salmon colored. And that stuff's expensive, but I also look at it as like an under eye treatment. It's a multitasker. So for that reason, I'm out. I'm not so sad about how expensive it is. I feel like a superhero wearing my mask. I got way too much foundation. That's on this what I thing. did. I'm kind of in between colors. I look really white. We're kind of in between colors right now. It's like we think our camera's not bright and then we put on our makeup and it's like, we're, like, we're pale. This is a really great foundation. I've it's been an OG. Yeah, I've been out of my color, so I haven't been using it. And I've actually been using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, but it does not fit into the under 10. No, it's like 10.99 or yeah. 11. Yeah. It's toe in the line. It it's is. Almost there. But if you want another great foundation that gives you like kind of a sheer, I think it's like what people are trying Trying to get with like the NARS sheer glow and like where do you want to take it next? You do concealer. I'm doing you? concealer. Is that also a tornado it's siren? It's also a tornado siren. I'm using the NYX HD concealer, which we compared this to the naked concealer in our dupe video. Yeah. So links, good one. Links to dupe videos below. It's one of our one of our faves. Right. Okay, going on to eyebrows. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist in blonde. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Brow Precise in, I don't know the color and I don't see it. Well, this is the lightest one I know for sure. This one is really creamy. I think we talked about this one recently. Yeah, sometimes the tip likes to break. I prefer the L'Oreal one to that, but I will also say I used this yesterday and it was a lot warmer than I remember it being. I like creaminess because it's easy to blend. I don't like creaminess because it smudges out, like, like you lose your eyebrow. Like it wipes off? Yeah. I've really been liking the Sephora collection one. Anything to not have to pay the price of Anastasia. Yeah. I, it did, that's just why. There are very few things that I come across price-wise where I'm like, yeah, I'm okay spending that much money. Like my first day beauty eye concealer plus like eye cream, that's one of the ones where I just, I've been so happy with it and I just don't look twice or think twice. That's what I meant. Sometimes eyebrows take me forever. <laughs> Same. This isn't necessary. Steph doesn't do it, but sometimes I like to hit it with the Essence Make Me Brow just to give a little extra filling in and staying power because my brows like to get cry cry. But do you ever have days when your eyebrows are just like the right shape? Not usually. Some days they're not. Okay, we're gonna prime and we're using the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid. 
primer. That's the best primer that we found. Portable. There's a wet and wild one I want to try. Yeah. I think we might be running low on this. Eyeshadow! Yay, we've got some palettes. This one is the NYC Levotix by Demi. It's like seven bucks. This is Maybelline The Nudes, and we may dip into L Everyday Smoky and or Wet n Wild. Coming in latte. Coming in latte. Okay, we're, I'm just gonna start out with a nice transition-y color. And for that, it's not gonna show up much. I'm just gonna get it from this Nudes palette, this like little peachy up here, just see what happens. I wanna do something different-y. I'm gonna go in with with this darker color. I think I did a darker lid recently and I really enjoyed it, so. Okay, actually I lied. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use Cover All the Nudes. There's a good transition color in there that I am gonna go for. It's like a matte, taupey color. That's a darker lid. Also, I really like all these palettes, you know? None of them are, you can't go wrong with any of them. But I'm gonna take, it's a pretty gold color in here. I'm gonna put it on my lid. I think I'm gonna go in with this neutrally light tan transition-y color and blend out my crease. I think I'm gonna stay in this nudes palette. And I'm gonna take this like chocolatey color down here. Oh, now I want chocolate. I know. I'm just gonna outer corner it and into the crease. I constantly clean up with my beauty blender. If you guys are like, what the heck is she doing? I just constantly. I'm gonna go in with the sparkly shade and go in the inner corner. And I'm still not done with the rest of this business because it's so messy. Okay, I'm gonna take the lightest sheen and highlight my brow. That's a good highlight. Actually very, very white, bright. I'm gonna go back in and darken up my lids a little bit because they've kind of faded a smidge. Yeah, I'm also gonna touch up my lid. Ooh, I'm also gonna bring a little bit underneath my lash line. Same. The lid color, I kinda like that one. I'm gonna do the same color I did in my crease, I like dark chocolate color. Ooh, work. Okay. Mm. You know if you get out your makeup and your lips are just like Real covered pale. in foundation? Yeah. And getting gross looking and like collecting stuff that like doesn't- a ghost. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Let's do like blush and stuff. Okay, let's do blush and stuff. We're using this contour palette. Wet and Wild contour palette. The drugstore has really stepped up contouring products. Heck, the drugstore's just been stepping up. I wanted to use the Maybelline Master Contour Palette, but guess what? It's like $12. The okay. drugstore has also been pricing up as they step up. But I mean, it's a, like a blush, contour, whatever. So it's like yeah. a multi-product. I almost would allow it. I'm a terrible nose contour, just so everyone knows. I think my nose contour is out of hand. Blush, do you want to use this? Yeah. We can use Elf Mellow Mauve. Fun fact about the e.l.f. Studio blushes, these were some of the first blushes that I got when we started makeup, and we got like all of them. We love them. It's a really pretty color. Mm-hmm. It actually makes me sad that I only have one face, and that I only can put on makeup once a day, and like yeah. whatever, because there's so much makeup that I love, and I want to yeah, I mean, play you with. could put it on multiple times if you wanted. No, but it takes so much. But I just love makeup, and there's so much pretty stuff. Ah. Highlight. Okay, we have a couple choices. We can do ColourPop Fanny Pack or ColourPop Electric Slide. I really wanna go with this Fergie one. I mean, the Fergie one's good. The Fergie Hollywood Boulevard, which is now... Boozy Brunch. Boozy Brunch, yes. My I'm highlight. gonna do Electric Slide. Cool. These are like five bucks or six To the bucks. left. Work, work. Oh, look at mine. Coming through with highlight. Sometimes when we're putting makeup for the camera, I feel like a little kid playing with my mom's makeup. I'm really getting that nose. I think I hit it. Like, I feel like Rudolph, the sparkly nose ring. Okay, eyeliners. Okay, we've got this Master Precise Curvy one, or we have the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline one. But we also have this one from CoverGirl that we used a long time ago. Bombshell one that's in... It's a good one, I used it in brown recently. Okay, I'm going for CoverGirl. All right. 90% sure this is less than. Yeah, I just haven't been doing eyeliner good lately. Mascara. Yes. I've been obsessed with this one. Maybelline Lash Sensational What Stephanie Looks a Maybelline what? one. What? I'm gonna double check the price on this. Falsies Push Up Angel. $7.49. Ow! Ow! Shoot! <laughs> no. I'll go back and fix it. I just shoved it right in there. The only complaint I have about this mascara is that 
I like the way certain mascaras set on my eyelashes. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like this one kind of sets up a little bit more gummy. It doesn't get that dry crumbliness, which is good because you know, it won't like crumble. I just don't like, like when I go to touch my lashes, I don't like the way they feel. I've used this mascara before and liked it better. This is getting a little not what I want it to do. Since we went kind of smoky on the eyes, like more dramatic, we're gonna go for some lighter lips. This one's Jordana Sweet Cream Matte in Creme Brulee. I'm gonna do the Vivid Matte Liquid in uh, 40 Berry Boost. She's doing the cry lip. Berry, berry Boost. This might be so light on my lips that it might look bad. We're gonna find out. Oh yes, 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 yes. Huh? I think it kind of sets up a little darker. Yeah. I like the formula they use Vivid Matte. Like what am a, I doing with my hand? It's like a mousse gel. That's how this is, the Jordana. That's oh, mousse, actually. Yeah, not gel. Ooh, this lip color is really pretty. It's supposed to be a dupe for a Kylie color. Woo! Okay, so. Who are these fancy girls ready to go somewhere? Super fun, bold lip. Not what I initially was gonna go for. I was gonna go for more like this color. Or like a deep berry. Yeah, I was expecting it to be a, a deeper shade, but it's still really pretty and I'm not mad at it. I was expecting this to be lighter. Look at it. Yeah, like, I told you it goes tube, darker. This does not look like this. Yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah. So, okay. What I stinking love about makeup is that you can get affordable products and you can make it look dang mm -hmm. awesome. Your makeup is what you make of it. It's not, it's not completely product dependent. I mean, it's dependent on the quality of the product, not the price of the product. Right. I think you can get amazing products for less money and don't feel like you've got to go get the Guerlain and mm -hmm. the clay Do Oh, and all the fancy Jacobs. stuff. Once it's on your face, no one knows how much it costs. Right. Well, I have a $50 highlight on my cheek. You don't know, it's coming through like it's $50. Right? So definitely go into the drugstores and Targets and you know experiment with the, the more affordable options because yes, yes. Did you hear my neck pop? <laughs> and if there are products that are holy grails from the drugstore that were not in this video or you've never heard us mention before, please tell us because yeah. your girls wants to know. Yeah, even if it's not a brand new item, you know, maybe it's like super been around forever. Maybe we'll do like a fun video where it's like hidden gems at the drugstore kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And not even necessarily brand new stuff. So yeah. if you have some of those, leave them in comments down below. Also, I don't think we mentioned, but our tops are from our store, Madison and Mallory. In case you didn't know, we have holy them yoga. Boutique. Holy so yoga. You can get these now on. And Madison and Mallory.com. And I think we're doing like a fun Columbus Day sale. So check that out down below. And yeah, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. And the subscribe to us. So you can watch us more. Cool. And go check out TNS. We've got some vlogs up there. Yes, and we're vlogging little... again. Yeah. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Okay, okay, we'll see what? <laughs> I can't talk. Okay, we love you. We'll talk to you in another video super soon. We sure will. Bye guys. Bye.